Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles back again for another in-store review here at Game Traders Ingle Farm in Adelaide, South Australia. So I'll just give you guys a quick look at um, what they've got here. So they've got some brand new hot toys coming in uh, with Amazing Spider-Man there, the Crow, and they've got the Sideshow Harlequin which is uh, the figure I'll be reviewing today in store. Um, and they've got the Tony Stark mechanic figure. Just look at those details there. So we'll definitely be more in-store reviews coming up on uh, cool collectibles for game traders. Some statues. And just check out the new Kotobukiya Artifix Plus Hulk, which I'll be getting in soon to do a review. So. Uh, hang out for that, um, but I'll get set up for the Harlequin review and uh, be back in a second. Thanks, bye. Alright, back again, and so here's a quick look at the box art. And Sideshow have really stepped it up uh, to be in line with Hot Tours quality now in the, the packaging. So you get that as the cover art, and this awesome cardboard insert with some great artwork there. So that does look awesome. And Sideshow have been releasing these figures as part of their DX, uh, DC Comics line. So they've uh, released previously the Joker, uh, which looked pretty awesome. And now they've got his uh, cohort in Harlequin here. So I'll just go through the accessories. This hammer here looks really awesome. So the paint app on this is nicely done. And a lot of nice texturing there in, in that. And the weapon here. Which is pretty funny and as usual with all of Sideshow's figures they've got plenty of hands um, it's a shame this time uh, all the hands don't come with the, the hand pegs so it's uh, similar to the Hot Toys release in this one um, but uh, I've heard they are a bit loose to change out but um, just be careful and you should be okay with that so all the various um, hands there and the knuckle busters there and this one holding the syringe which is pretty cool So lots of uh, display options there, and also comes with the alternate head sculpt. Now the Joker head sculpt was um, really slanted towards the comic look, um, and wasn't um, too realistic looking, um, so it was very uh, hyper realistic I guess, but um, Harlequin's uh, head sculpt here is pretty realistic, um, and human like, and the paint app is really really nicely done by Sideshow here. So onto the figure, and she does look awesome. So if I just grab her off this, um, oh, and there's a quick look at the stand, uh, which is a nice deviation from the the usual sort of stand that they have. And onto the figure, the outfit is um, a really nice sort of soft fabric material, um, similar to the sort of fabric on the CR Superman figure from Hot Toys. Um, so it's um, soft and you just might have to be careful um, getting uh, your fingernails or anything like that caught on it. Um, but overall it's uh, nice and flexible. Um, all of her joints are pretty tight and uh, easy to move so there's no, no problem there. Um, but just the, the detailing in the, the corset there. Um, I have heard that you can sort of undo that and untie it and take the corset off for, for a different display option. but. Um, definitely looks like putting that back on would be a bit of a pain so I probably wouldn't recommend it um, but just the detailing in the, the the costume here is really nicely done by Sideshow I think they've for the recent figures I mean most of their best figures are, are in the Star Wars line but this DC Comics line they've um, really upped their game in, in texturing and, and costume design um, and here's the head sculpt here the great smiling head and so this really does look like a, a great compliment to to their DC Comics Joker um, they are releasing the Batman soon in the the older style um, along with their Superman figure and so these four together I'm not sure if they're going to be releasing any more figures in that line but the four that they've um, announced so far really do look awesome 
I mean, Hot Toys sort of focus on the the movies. Um, so to have Sideshow come in and, and focus on some of the more comic uh, source material is uh, really good. So um, this is available now at uh, Game Traders. Um, I'm in at Ingle Farm here, so um, if you're interested, definitely come in and check it out. It's uh, it's a beautiful piece, and um, as you can see in the in the earlier uh, shot that I did when I walked in, um, there's plenty of others, other figures that they've brought in uh, from Hot Toys and so on. So um, lots of stuff for you guys to see, um, and uh, hopefully I can bring you some more in-store reviews soon. So um, thanks again for checking us out, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.